Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. It's December 23rd. Today we have our grandkids. We have not seen them since Thanksgiving. We have not had them over just like, you know, with me, Kevin, and them since the week before Thanksgiving. So we cannot wait to hang out and play with them and watch movies and paint and color and do all the fun things that you do with little kids. Normally I would shut my furnace off but last night when Kevin and I were doing the Q&A, it was running and I thought, oh, it's just too loud. So I shut the furnace off and forgot to turn it back on. So it was like 45 degrees when I got down here this morning. Yeah. So it's really early. It's only quarter to eight. I got up early. I cleaned all the bathrooms. So like Kevin and I have a routine. I clean all the bathrooms and he cleans the floors. See, dusting is not in there. Dusting happens sporadically. But the main thing is to get clean on a continuous basis. Anyways, I got up early, I got that done, I got myself ready, got down to the studio quarter to eight because the kids come at 8.30. So I come down here to do my vlogmas with you guys. So the most important thing we are gonna talk about today is how the heck are, am I gonna pick winners? And, you know, cause people are confused about it. Some people thought they had to comment the keyword in the comments each week. And so I, I apologize. Maybe I wasn't clear enough on how that worked or maybe you missed that video where I explained it. But basically I was telling you to just jot them down every day. Maybe have a list one through 24 and each day you write it or write it on your calendar or in your planner or something like that. And just keep those keywords on hand. You will not need those keywords unless your name is drawn, okay? This video here, Vlogmas Day 23, this is the video that you have to comment on. I'm not gonna give you a question. All you have to do is comment. You could just say Merry Christmas to the Colgates, you know, Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Wims, <laughs> you know, whatever you wanna put in the comments. But comment something so that you'll be in the drawing. Cause when I do the YouTube random comment picker, it will just go through all the comments. I'm gonna choose three winners. Those three winners need to email me at TeresaCogut3 at gmail.com. Email me and say Vlogmas winner number one, number two, or number three. Because the first person that I draw, they get to first choice out of the paintings I'm gonna show you. The second person gets the second choice out of the paintings. And then the third person I draw gets the pick from what is left. I have nine original paintings to choose from. What you need to do is then give me the list of the keywords. There are going to be, hold please. Okay, there's 22 keywords, okay? We do not have a keyword for day 10. I combined day 10 and 11 into one video. I can't remember why. Oh, because the one day Kevin and I went shopping. And I didn't have enough material to really share with you guys. So I combined day 10 and 11, and I only gave one keyword in that video, okay? And then I'm going to give you a keyword today. Your keyword today is baby Jesus. All right, and there's no keyword for the 24th and the 25th. So that's three days that I didn't have a keyword. That's why there's not 25. There's only 22 keywords. So you should have 22 keywords. And when you send me the list, please don't put it in a paragraph. Put, 
you know, put a keyword and then return. Put the keyword in a list form and please put it in order. If it's not in order of the days, if you if it's all jumbled, I don't have time to try to figure that all out. If I mean, if you've written it in order and it's in your planner or whatnot, it should be in order anyway. So please just give it to me in a list form in order to make it simple on everybody, especially me. <laughs> I'll be honest, especially, especially me. So if you don't know a keyword for a certain day, go back to that video and, and rewatch it. The, the keywords most of the time are towards the end of the video because I usually forget to mention a keyword and I just plop in a video at the end. They're not all at the end though, but that's where I would start. What's going to happen is I'm going to wait for those three people to email me the list of the keywords. I'm going to give you until, let's see, Wednesday. Let's say Wednesday. I'm going to give the three people that I draw until Wednesday the 29th to send me the list of the keywords. Okay, that gives you a few days to get it together in case you don't have all the keywords and you need to rewatch or whatever. So if I don't hear from you by Wednesday, I will be redrawing the names, okay? That's how that's going to go. So let me just show you the paintings that I'm going to give away. They are numbered. So grab a piece of paper and a pencil and write down the numbers and what they are, which ones you'll want in case your name is drawn, okay? I know, there's a lot of rules, but I'm giving away original paintings. <laughs> you have to work for it. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just actually trying to make it as fair as I can for everybody. Okay, number one, we have Style and Snowman. Oh, that light. Oh, no. Turned out to work out good. Look how pretty. So this, I'm going to give you the size, too. Uh, that was the hard part. There were a lot of different ones I wanted to choose from, but they were weird size, and I thought, well, maybe I can trim them down but they wouldn't fit a standard frame. And I didn't want to do that to you. I don't want you to have to spend a bunch of money getting a custom frame or, you know, just didn't want you to deal with that. So all of these will be uh, mostly eight by 10, but a couple 11 by 14. Number two is Home for Christmas. I love this one because it makes me think of my childhood and my dad would always go home for Christmas and bring his family with him and we would stay at my grandma's house in Missouri, Bernie, Missouri, and spend Christmas with my family there. And so that's, I have a fondness for this painting. So this is again an eight by 10. This is number two. Number three, Wintertime Friends, WTF. <laughs> this is 11 by 14. So that's number three. I tried to pick a nice variety of color and subject matter. This one is number four. This is also an 11 by 14. The rest are what I painted during Vlogmas. So here is number five. Eight by 10. Number six. 8 by 10. It's one of my favorites right there. It'd be hard to part with that one. <laughs> Number 7. This is an 8 by 10. Number 8. This one was well loved. 8 by 10. And last but not least, number 9. This is an 11 by 14. All right, so that was the most important thing I wanted to share with you all. And I am also going to uh, share with you the Arnett uh, Christmas, amazing Christmas things that they make and share about their country store that's in Illinois. I wanted to do that yesterday, but 
wow, that Q&A went on. It was a long video yesterday and we didn't even get through half of the questions. There was a lot of duplicate questions in there, but what I think I'll do is possibly this Sunday, Kevin and I might do the rest of the Q&A where he's involved so I can post it Monday and then Monday I can finish up the rest of the Q&A because I, I want to get that all wrapped up. I want Vlogmas in the books, you know, by the end of next week so I can start the new year fresh. I don't know what fresh means, but having Vlogmas done, let's just put it that way. Okay, so that's the plan. Then tomorrow we will be doing uh, the Bronner's. The Bronner's Frankenmuth trip. And then the 25th, we, the kids will come over in the morning. I'm going to get my video done, hopefully, um, early in the morning. Because I have one more painting that I've re already recorded myself doing. So I'll have a reading voiceover over that painting. And I think that's probably... Oh, wait a minute. When did I say I was going to do the drawing? Oh, my Lord. I'm going to give everyone time to comment on this video. And Christmas is, you know, right here, right now. So I want people to have time to watch the video. So I will probably do, I forget what I said. I'll have to watch this again. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm going to do the drawing on Monday, the 27th. Okay. I'm doing the drawing on Monday, the 27th. By Wednesday, the 29th. I have to have heard from you with your list of keywords if I drew your name. That makes more sense because, um, yeah, that way, that's, that'll work. I'm sorry, guys. I just got a lot going on in trying to get Vlogmas intermingled with all of the things, Christmas things going on. It's been a little bit of a challenge the last few days. I think that's all. I think that's all. So enjoy the Arnett's video. Anyway, guys, you have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, so my featured artist this day, I wasn't say this week because I'm used to doing a weekly video. Today's featured artist is Arnett. Arnett's Country Store. I think the lady that makes these and that owns the shop, I think her name is Stacy Droit. I could be wrong. I think this is the only Arnett Santa that I have, but I'll insert a picture of one of their snowmen that I And if you, so he is actually in a stocking that's made out of fabric and painted. So he's so cute though. And he hangs on one of my cabinet doors. That was a gift from my friend Jan. My friend Jan, who I've spoke about before that has the salt box house and amazing decorations, she has quite a few of the Arnett Santas. I do not. Uh, they are hard to get your hands on. Like, whenever we purchased them, it was mostly, like, from a store. Or if you go, they do a few shows a year. But when they do those shows, if you don't get in first thing, you're not getting one. Like they sell out within the first hour of the show. And there'll be a huge long line of ladies with these Santas in their hands. And they are the coolest thing ever. Now this is not part of the Arnett Santa. This, my friend Jan, I just spoke of, she does needle felting and she made that. And I just thought it was really cute hanging on his little arm there. And then this is also not part of Arnett. I just duffed him up a little bit. And I hung this cute little ornament that's normally on my tree upstairs. But I thought he looked really cute on there. So I just embellished him a little bit more than just having the bottle tree. Bottle brush tree. Jeez. But look at the faces. I thought they were paper mache, but I just watched an interview. Or not an interview. Somebody at a country store that carries Arnett Santas. And she said it was plaster. Anyways, they always have this look of, oh my gosh, am I really Santa? Like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? So anyway, this guy hangs 
on a, he's got a little hanger here. So he hangs and uh, a lot of them are standing figures or whatever you want to call them. They, they're awesome. So I'm going to, if you go to Pinterest and look up Arnett Santos, you will be overwhelmed. You can see them on Pinterest. I'm going to link their country store below. Their store is in Frankfurt, Illinois. And I don't know if that's anywhere near where my family lives in Southeast Missouri, but if it is, I'm going to see about going to that store because that store is totally prim. Oh, but there'll be a link down below to see it. I will link to their Pinterest page, their Facebook, their Instagram. You will be just bombarded <laughs> by these amazing Santas. And I'm also going to insert pictures of the Santas with just sets to some music. I don't, I'm not going to really do a voiceover because there's not a lot of things about them. I tried to find like a biography or something. There's nothing out there about them and the, you know, the lady that makes them. So they, there won't be a voiceover, but anyway, just wanted to share how cool this is with you guys. Yeah. I'm kind of I also have a little video of a Santa that I purchased years and years ago, like I did with Whimsical Whittler. You know, I met them at the Market Square Wholesale Show and they had these amazing Santas that they handmade. I wish I knew if they were a sister team or just like best friends, I can't remember, but they were from the South as well and their stuff was incredible. So I got one of their pieces and I love it so much. This is not an Arnett's, but I wanted to share it with you. I bought this at Market Square, you know, years ago, back in the 90s. From, it was two, I think they were sisters or best friends. I don't remember exactly. They were from the South, Kentucky, Tennessee, somewhere around there. <laughs> hey, details escape me. That was a long time ago. It is so vintage. This is vintage garland that's on this tree. This cool vintage box that the, is hanging from the Santa. 
this awesome vintage wreath. So they made these Santas and they put all these vintage dolls and toys and things on it. Look at who didn't have a Holly Hobby when they were a kid, huh? Bottle brush tree. Look at this old. Let me turn him around. Look at that old French horn. And this old toy wagon, tin toy wagon. Let me turn him around so you can see. Isn't that just the coolest thing? I'm going to look at the bottom of it and see if there's a signature. But they, um, they quit doing the show. They quit doing the show before I got in the face. It's like a paper mache. Yeah, he is gorgeous. One of my treasures from the old days of the old times of the show. Hey guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 23, 20, it was a 3, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Windows washing is on. Okay. First we have Stitchy Box. My battery's about to die, so this probably will get interrupted. Ooh. This is so, I bet this is so good. My narrator. Day 23. Christmas lights, stitchy oh, silk. Look how pretty that is. Turn any monochrome project into a Christmas project with this variegated colorway. Ooh, I bet that would stitch up really cool. That's beautiful. It is. And it's not too bright. It's really kind of my colors. It's joyful and triumphant. <laughs> You up, baby. Hmm. That kind of hard to Seriously? keep this thing going. Just a little tape. Oh, okay. Maybe. Uh, you can do it. Go in this way, because it's not all the way across. There we go. Oh gee, what could it be? Oh, a keepsake. You're not gonna know. Oh, a gift from Aunt Bethany. <laughs> more so, of the uh, yeah, more from the Christmas vacation. It's the. I do this case drop it. Oh, that's right. You should bring up the leg lamp from now. I got it all glued together now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Seriously. So if you remember the gift from Aunt Bethany, when he shook it, meow, there was a cat in the box. But it pushed the button. Hopefully it. Oh. What okay, needs a new battery? Oh, it's supposed to go meow. Yeah, we're going to have to replace the battery. Oh, dog on it. Shoot. Oh, well. But yeah, there's a, there's a, actually like a little spot for the speaker right there. <laughs> Fun stuff. Thank you. All right. From Teresa Vanette Kitten Stitcher. It's another pattern. It's so exciting. Who is it? Stone Street Stitch Works. Ooh, that's beautiful. Peace and goodwill. That's very pretty. Let's see. Winter scene of a classic red brick house with a lush heirloom border. This project can be finished as a framed piece, a mat with a hemmed edge, a pillow, or a drum, and will be a festive addition to your holiday decor. The design size 146 by 110. Very pretty. DMC, Classic Color Works, Weeks Dye Works, and Gentle Arts. Giving everybody some love. It's pretty. I like it. Look at that. It's very well presented. You, you like the bag? Well, I like the cover and the, the bag. It's just these, very nice. I know, but what I was going to say is most people don't like these bags because oh. then they're sticky. Oh. And to get the pack, the 
project back in there oh, and it's sticky and, yeah but um but they it's a nice presentation because sure it's is. clean very clean looking that way all right guys that was it for vlogmas 23 i'm getting my days all mixed up we're almost done i can't believe it all right guys we'll see you bye